Dang. This Wyoming stuff is all right. Little America. Guys, just so blue in this recording. This recording's making it look better than it is. That's that doesn't happen very often. There's so much junk on the windshield. It's like focusing on the windshield. <laughs> That's pretty. Ooh, that's so pretty. Perfectly flat. Mesa. Plateau. No, that's Lake of Fire. No, and a book about birds. There's a bucket and a mop and an illustrated book about birds. Maybe that is Plateau. But she don't shed her skin, she just kills a cat with mom and bring her bowls in. <laughs> hey. Behold what we believe to be the Mormon temple. That's behind it. Oh. Behold, see Joseph a, a church. Smith standing on the thing pointing. That's Where? the temple. Oh, let's see. Wait, there's Joseph Smith. There he is. Yeah. Our Savior. He's not pointing. That's a trumpet. No, he's. No. He's pointing at something. No, no, that's a trumpet. Okay. He's got a trumpet in his mouth. I can see it. I'm okay. zoomed in. <laughs> he might be pointing with his trumpet. That's I do it a, all the time. I see a trumpet. <laughs> Let me know if you see the place. Um, as I read in the scripture, I'm pretty sure that uh, Jesus built these mountains for the Mormons. That's very kind of him. And he could have also built them a religion that makes sense. Yeah, but uh, all they got were these mountains. So they used the mountains, I think, to keep out uh, what they call the infidels. Wait a minute, is this right? <laughs> is this right? I don't know. <laughs> Feel free to make up whatever you want. I mean, it worked a couple hundred years ago. Right, it'll, it'll be just as plausible as this whole town. Well, that was a really good view of the mountains for two seconds. <laughs> With separate sections for each leg of the trip. That's fine. We were trying to out-nerd each other one day, and then he went that, and I was like, you win. I was like, that's a good system. I should do that. He's very organized. I mean, I, I, oh, there you go. Is that the Salt Lake? Well, I can only imagine that this area of the country, a body of water larger than a kiddie pool has to be the Salt Lake. Yeah. And plus there's just like salt everywhere, all over the ground. Yeah. Nobody's on it, that tells you something. Yeah. Fall in, 
it's like, what's it smell like? Promised land for the bovine. What's that? My favorite? <laughs> <laughs> These are some serious salt flats. That's amazing. We can nothing around for miles. The next town where you get some food is 57 miles away. It looks like the ocean. I would give you a view of the sea of salt. Shit. Shit. That's lots of salt. Yeah. Let's go check this out. Let's go stand in the salt. Yep, that's salt. Wow. God, it's beautiful. Thinking of you, babe. I love you. I wish you were here to see this. Yeah, me too. I had to see if it was salt, and it is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> confirmed what I originally thought. There's water over here. Uh -huh. I put my hand down, and it was like that. Well, there's brine over there. I'm sure yeah, it's, it's like one part per thousand actual water. It's absolutely. I want to make a salt angel. It's like, how does this happen? <laughs> Look at it. It's like an ocean of salt. It was. It was. It's gonna break. I'm gonna fall into the salt water. <laughs> you look pretty crazy. You gotta squint, though. I wish I would have worn my sunglasses. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this was the floor of an ancient ocean that the salt had precipitated. The what? Out. The what? I'm pretty sure that this is the bed of an ancient ocean that the salt had precipitated out. Yeah, that's what I've always heard too. I mean, there's slinging and salt everywhere. I can't stop filming this. This is just amazing. <laughs> hey, Gary. Taking pictures of you. <laughs> Six days on the road and I got a lot of salt in my shoe. All right. I'm going to call my baby. <laughs> 